wife of the President of the Senate, Her Excellency Mrs. Ekaite Unoma Akmabio, has spearheaded a farming expedition with students from St. John Paul II in a Kwaibum state aimed at promoting food sufficiency in Nigeria. The excursion focused on the production of cassava flour, commonly known as gari, offering students a first-hand experience on agricultural practice. Our correspondent, Simply Watts, completes the report. In line with the Every Home a Garden initiative by the First Lady of Nigeria, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, to promote food sufficiency, the wife of the President of the Senate, Her Excellency Ekaite Unoma Pabio, embarked on a farming expedition with students of St. John Paul II. As other Nigerians celebrated the May 1 Workers' Day holiday at home, these students were being walked through the various stages involved in the processing of cassava flour, popularly known as gari in the local parlance. The students were given front row experience as many who were first time farmers learned a lot while others added to what they already knew. Okay, what captivated me the most was the maceration process. And it was fun seeing the, the machine peel and then sieve, dry and grind. And then to down to the sieving process and the perforating process, to the grinding and then to the frying process. It was actually very nice. Although I've been to um, an uh, area like this in agriculture, but this is more fun field because I came with my friends and we enjoyed the time well spent and it was like a roller coaster and then everything was perfectly done. Everything we did today, all the activities were very interesting, especially for a first time experience. But my best experience was the pressing, when the water from the cassava was being removed with the pressing machine and the frying process and the fact that we add red, um, red oil to the cassava to make it yellow. I think what was captivating about this experience was the fact that we got to like visit nature but you know that we have been to enclosed in school in the AC, the fans, stuff like that. Yeah, so we got a chance to be with nature, be free with nature. Yeah, and I think the best part of this all was when we were harvesting the cassava. Yeah. So what have you learned today? Um, what I've learned today, when we finished harvesting the cassava, we brought it to the factory, learned how to grind the cassava, how to fry it, and there's other stuff like that. Yeah. At the end, the students were able to hold the final product, which is the gari, in their hands, as the excursion climaxed to a rewarding end. It is awesome. It is like what farmers would love to try. And it is like um, something Nigerians would lovely or would excitedly without anything obstructing them to do and it's a nice meal though just with the taste of not eating it with soup it's 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 sumptuous then come to think about taking it with soup it has a very smooth texture and it's very nice it tastes very nice it's going to be good with soup and just sipping it like that you can't afford to miss this gary gary is gold gary is life Join us at SJP Young Farmers Club and you enjoy your Gary. This particular brand can go with groundnut, can go with coconut, can go with afang, etake, editan. The taste is yummy. Ooh! So tasty! So tasty! The Every Home a Garden, under the Renewed Hope Initiative of the First Lady of Nigeria, stands out as a laudable approach to the promotion of food sufficiency in the nation. From a synodim in Akwaibom State, Simple Iwat, reporting for ADBN TV.